will be creating Stormbreaker from the Marvel Universe and in case you don't know how it looks like, it looks like this. So, let's do this. The first step is to bring out a cylinder from here. For this, you just bring it out and put it to the side. The next step is to bring out a wedge. This will be 10 by 10. So, right about here. Once you've done that, let's zoom into this first, um, we will make it a hole and we will duplicate them. Move it to the very corner, and but it needs to be inside of each other. And we just move it a little bit. About like here. Once we've done that, make sure that this part touches the corner. So, let's make this 0.1, the scale grid, and move it. Yeah, so we've got this shape. Now, we need to press duplicate again. So make sure to not press anything or click the cylinder or press this button, nothing. So just make sure that you don't press so you can repeat the duplicate. So you keep doing that, that until you get a full circle. About here. Yeah, and now, we will select all of this, we'll duplicate, and then we mirror and we press the button that makes it go up, the mirror up. So then we have got this mold. So now all we need to do is place this here and just increase. Oh, make this go down. So you need to make this the same so first make the side 64 probably 60 by 60 so let's um press this to hide this for now and then we'll group this these shapes and then we'll bring back this cylinder by just pressing this so now we can align Put it in the middle. So now comes the fun part. So first check the height of this. So it's 10. So make this 9.9. .9. Now all we need to do is group and we have got this shape. So now we've got like a sharp circle shape. So that we're gonna that's what we're gonna use. So now let's make this 60 by 39 Ooh, okay now let's bring in another cylinder make it 64 make it a hole and just drag it okay about here we duplicate this and bring it to the bottom make the snap grid one so it's easier and faster to move about here. Maybe this should go a bit more higher. About here, we bring in a whole square, a box, whole box. We put it here. Just make this a hole and bring this a bit backwards. But then you have this axe shape. So now let's move this and we have this shape. You can increase the height, you can decrease it, you can make it bigger. So that's what we're going to do later. Now let's work on the hammer part on the stone breaker. So the, this part, all you need to do is bring out the box, make the radius 4.2, 4.2, and the step as 1. So then we have this shape. Let's bring this out about this height, and then bring out the box. Oh, bring it higher, turn it a bit, then you can just increase the height, maybe just a little bit more, here, down, so we've got this shape, maybe we can put it a bit down, okay, then we just increase the 
um, width by both sides so let's make the hole on the top then we can uh, just move it a bit more to the side so we want this whole part to reach that corner so about here we can duplicate this then mirror it press this one and move it onto about here then we can group these three shapes we've got this hammer part so we can just about here this is what it's going to look like so now let's bring this turn this 90 degrees make it to zero and just place it here and now we've got this looking this is the hammer, this is the hammer, and this is the axe. So let's align this right here and here. Now let's bring it higher about 86. Oh, that was a bit too high. But we're just gonna keep it at this height right now because now we're gonna make the handle. We're gonna correct this later. So the first um, then we just bring out a scribble and now this is really simple just make simple dots around the place don't like go like this we don't want that so let's just take that back small dots and needs to be also a circle so about here you can just make one side like that yeah make it even here so we've got this shape now we press done and now we've got a wooden handle it, because if we take a cylinder it doesn't look really realistic so now let's make this seven by seven seven by seven and we increase the height now for the handle let's zoom into this uh, we need to bring in a this white thing so we bring this in we make this nine by nine. So nine up oh, nine by nine. And then we uh we take this shape, we uh turn it by very little, so about ten degrees, and then we press a line, press the two buttons, and then we the height until we get this thing and then now we can just take this shape this, and move it to the bottom so now this is a bit off so we don't want it to be like yeah about here we have this shape it's okay if it looks like these things because then it looks more like wood so we can just a little bit change this about here, yeah, and then we can move. So now we change it around and we have got this wood looking shape. So now we need to attach it with this. So this is Root's hand. So let's bring this up to zero and let's place middle. Oh place this this part and then now we need to bring this a bit lower and then we need to make this this is a bit too long so about 85 take this move it as well and then let's make this the proper make this the proper height and this the proper side. So you can press shift and make it bigger and then place it there. Now all we need to do is just make this a bit less tall and this a bit smaller. 
Okay, now we need to bring this more inside of the wood. And then we need to work on the uh, wood things around here. But before that, let's make this 7 by 7. And this go more down this well. Now let's work on wood and all. So first and this a less wider. And now we need to bring in another scribble. Here, there, and then we need to just do random lines like this. But it still needs to be like a circle, but it just needs to be a bit bigger. Yeah, about here, that's done. We move it down and then turn it 90 degrees. We bring it higher, so let's zoom into the axe for a like this. Then place this about here. So we need to make this the height, um, the length smaller. So about there, there. So now we've got this part. Then we can just duplicate, turn this a bit, move it to the side. Then we duplicate. Take this here, and then we select all of these and move them in. Then we make this all brown, and this one to get this handle done. So let's just correct this parts, and then let's make this a bit smaller. There. There. So now we need to make this part more straight. So let's bring in a hole, a box, and then let's higher about here. And then turn it until it's the right height. And just take it like this. And move it. Okay, now we can select these two shapes. Then we've got this. Now it will be much easier to make this because that's how it looks. So we make this to one. We have got this part done. So now um, let's press this and take out all these uh, handles. For now. And then uh, we just align these back. And now for the last few final steps, we need to make this have like a curve to it. So we bring in a um, so we bring this in the sphere, and then we make a hole, we increase the height. So now we need to make sure that it looks nice and like more in and good. So we want to make it look like a curve. So then we duplicate this, then we move it to this side, and then we bring it a bit lower, and this one a bit higher. So let's just this cone higher, and then we do another duplicate, and then we bring this. About here. So, as you can see here, it is a bit too much. So, let's just do this and press the line, and then we can just move. And we have got this curved looking shape. Now, all we need to do is make this way, and then this part should be a little bit bigger than the hammer, so 
up here we need to work on some designs so I'm gonna speed this part up because it's really easy So, yeah, we have finished the Stormbreaker. 